If you're looking to open a bank account in Europe as a non-resident, you've probably noticed that it's getting increasingly difficult. Well, in today's video, we're going to help you overcome account opening challenges in Europe, talk through the account opening opportunities, and tell you how to open accounts successfully. In fact, if you stick around to the end, we'll even share how our members open non-resident bank accounts in Europe remotely. But before we jump in, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get alerted every time we post new non-resident banking opportunities. Before we get started, we have a free non-resident banking starter guide designed to help non-resident and foreigners open bank accounts around the world in places like Europe. So don't forget to download your copy using the link in the description below. Now, before we talk about banking, let's take a quick detour to discuss non-residents so you can fully grasp the challenges you'll face. You see, regulators and governments everywhere are waging war against non-resident accounts. That's because in recent years, several European banks were busted for facilitating money laundering through non-resident accounts. We've seen this happen in Latvia, Estonia, Malta, and even Andorra. Now, these non-resident accounts weren't actually set up for legitimate banking purposes. They were open to facilitate a legal activity that involved moving money across borders to mask its true identity. Unfortunately, in the eyes of the regulators, it's becoming difficult to tell the difference between good non-resident accounts and bad non-resident accounts. So, while a few bad apples shouldn't impact the ability of all non-residents with real banking needs to open accounts, it does. Fortunately, if you're a law-abiding citizen that's capable of providing the necessary documents and passing KYC and AML procedures, you can still open an account. Of course, you will still need to jump through some hoops to get the accounts open, including answering the three following questions. Question number one, what is your client profile and reason for wanting an account? Two, where do you want to bank and can you meet the bank's requirements? And question number three, which banks will realistically accept you and provide the services you need? Before helping you answer these questions, let's look at the benefits you can capture when banking in Europe. First, you can access great banks. Not surprisingly, many European countries are at the top of the list when it comes to banking excellence. These include such places as Andorra, Liechtenstein, Luxembourg, Monaco, and Switzerland. But there are other countries in Europe that find themselves at the opposite end of the spectrum. And you might be better off avoiding them unless, of course, you have a specific reason to bank in that country. Such places include Estonia, France, Greece, Italy, Latvia, and many others. Bottom line is, be very careful where you choose to open accounts in Europe. The country you choose is just as important as the bank you open with. It can mean the difference between a top-notch banking experience or drowning in fees, customer service headaches, and regretting that you ever applied. Fortunately, you can avoid all of the related problems and find great banking options. But you need to pick the right banks in the right countries. Second, you can unlock non-residents business banking. For example, entrepreneurs with business operations or customers in Europe should be able to access a European bank account to send and receive payments. Similarly, freelancers who target the right banks should be able to open accounts to receive payments from clients in European countries. And businesses that sell digital or other products via online channels can unlock banking and low-cost payment processing in Europe to help reduce fees via specific European banking options. The key is being able to demonstrate sufficient ties to prove that you need a bank account in Europe and following a few of the other steps that we outline in this video. Next, anyone who travels to Europe frequently 
even if just for pleasure, can benefit by being able to access funds via a European bank while in the region. By doing this, you can cut the cost of international transfers, currency conversion fees, and likely capture preferential rates from a local bank. Many foreign debit and credit cards will also charge additional foreign transaction fees, 3% or even higher, just for making a purchase abroad. By having a local debit or credit card from a European bank, you could avoid these fees entirely. Fourth, you can diversify your wealth and access safe banks. Now, this isn't to say that all banks in Europe are safe. They're not. But depending on where you're from, you might want to open a bank account in Europe as a non-resident in order to diversify away from risks in your home country. For instance, people from countries with unstable currencies may want to open euro-dominated accounts. When compared to other currencies, the euro is still relatively stable and less prone to shocks. Likewise, if you are in a country with a plummeting currency like Lebanon or South Africa, by moving your money to a European bank, you can preserve your wealth and protect yourself from risks at home. Fifth, access lower costs and better quality. By banking in Europe, you will be able to access a number of regional benefits. These can include everything from free transfers to most European banks and low-cost multi-currency accounts that aren't always available in other regions. Similarly, some European banks charge low fees for maintaining accounts, allowing you to open with good quality banks for zero fees if you can meet minimum balance requirements. Additionally, banks in Europe tend to have high quality online banking and make it easier for you to manage your accounts while abroad. Additionally, if you are banking in a European Union country, your bank will most likely have a deposit guarantee scheme that is backed by the European Central Bank, the ECB. And while deposit guarantees aren't an indicator of a bank's quality or financial health, they do provide an extra layer of insurance for depositors should the bank fail. Thanks to the ECB, your deposits in an EU-insured bank are guaranteed up to €100,000. Lastly, you can also access crypto banking. While this is a relatively new phenomenon, certain banks in Europe have become more open to the acceptance of cryptocurrencies. This even includes banks in some of the more established banking hubs like Liechtenstein and Switzerland, both of which have good crypto banking options. In such instances, as long as you can provide the supporting documentation, as described in our premium report, The Ultimate Guide to Crypto Banking, certain European banks are willing to accept crypto-related businesses, allow withdrawals from cryptocurrency exchanges, and accept clients with crypto as a source of wealth. So now, you might be thinking to yourself, this is great, but how do I actually open accounts? So let's dive into some key requirements for opening accounts in Europe. Now, when opening a bank account in Europe as a non-resident, there are several important considerations and stumbling blocks that you need to be aware of. These will ultimately determine which bank and European country are most suitable for you. Also, it's worth noting that while the account opening process is slowly becoming more standardized across the European banking industry, there are still major differences and inconsistencies across both banks and countries. For certain banks, account opening may depend on whether or not you have a local address, an acceptable proof of address, and have other types of ties to the country. For other banks, the opening requirements might be much more lenient. For instance, maybe a foreign proof of address will be accepted, no local ties to the country are needed, and you just have to physically show up at the bank with your standard documents. Let's take a look at some of the specific requirements. First, your reason for wanting to bank in Europe as a non-resident. This is one of the key questions you will be asked when opening a bank account in Europe as a non-resident. Remember, as a non-resident, you're automatically considered a higher-risk client to the bank, so your answer matters. Ultimately, the bank will have its own policies for what they deem to be an acceptable justification to open a bank account in Europe as a non-resident or not. 
we discuss specific non-resident account opening strategies for European countries and other major banking hubs in our banking intelligence reports, which are available to Global Banks insiders in the members area of our website, globalbanks.com. Another major stumbling block for non-residents trying to open accounts in Europe is their ability to prove local ties. Unfortunately, this can be more complicated than your justification for just wanting an account. To prove local ties, a bank might require that you provide reference letters, supplier contracts, even lease agreements, a certain type of visa, an employment contract, and more. In many instances, if you don't have any of these documents, you're going to need to find another bank, another country, or a different way to meet your account opening objectives. Third, where are you from and where do you live? As with account opening in most countries, your citizenship and your place of residence will matter to banks in Europe. Naturally, European banks don't look favorably on individuals from countries that are on black or gray lists. With this in mind, if you come from a less desirable or high-risk country, you might find yourself going through enhanced due diligence. This can often be a more stressful and costly experience than it is worth. If this happens, expect to be subjected to more stringent requirements, be required to provide more supporting documents, get more authentications, and the bank may even charge fees just to review your application. If that's the case, you might want to consider another bank account at a different bank and maybe even a different country altogether. Lastly, local ID or tax number requirements. Banks in certain European jurisdictions may require you to have a local tax identification card or a local tax number in order to open a bank account. If that's the case, you will almost always need to obtain a local ID or tax number before applying for an account. However, as we've already shared with Global Bank's insiders, it is possible, in certain instances, to obtain the necessary documentation in order to open accounts, even if you are not a tax resident and don't live there. The key is having the right information, strategies, and contacts, and knowing what to do, what not to do, where to go, and what is acceptable, and what each bank's preferences and sensitivities are. It's also a huge advantage if you can access specific details on what has worked in the past and how people just like you were able to successfully open accounts. Okay, so at the start of the video, I told you that we were gonna share how our members open accounts remotely. Well, it's true. We've helped countless global banks insiders open bank accounts in Europe without ever traveling to the continent. Whether you're in Asia, North America, Latin America, Africa, or Oceania, it's possible. And before you ask, Yes, this involves brick and mortar banks in major European countries. The process involves a video review, sending your documents, and getting the account opening with a deposit of only 300 euros. In fact, after you join Global Bank's Insider, we'd be happy to directly introduce you to the best remote account opening options in Europe as well. Plus, when you join Global Bank's Insider, you'll get instant access to our entire archive of banking intelligence reports. And you will also get access to the Global Bank's database, home to more than 250 banks from 50 plus countries, including detailed bank profiles, client preferences, and a lot more. But most important of all is the support you'll receive from our team of experts, ready to answer your most pressing banking questions and to make suggestions on which banks will best meet your objectives. To get started, just click the link in the description below to learn more about Global Banks Insider. But before signing off, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you get alerted every time we share new banking opportunities. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.